voters seem to be all over the map last night. Democrats won the presidency and the U.S. Senate seat. And as we were just talking about with Myra there, the, the Republicans are in charge in Madison. So our Chip Brewster sort of closed his eyes, and what he actually saw wasn't red or blue, but a shade of purple. The only generalization we can say is that the Wisconsin voter insists on being unpredictable. Try to put Wisconsin in a box. Go ahead. It's got a newly elected Democratic U.S. Senator, five re-elected Republican congressmen, helped put Democratic President Barack Obama back in the White House, and returned the state legislature to a GOP majority. All of this happened with one election. What that tells me is that voters in this state are independent. Uh, they listen race by race to what the candidates have to offer, and, and they're not going to be swung way, one way or the other by party. Some could argue this statement based on the presidential race alone. Wisconsin has given its electoral votes to Democrats the last seven elections in a row. However, UWM political science professor Mordecai Lee argues you have to look at the numbers. People on the outside might say, oh, Wisconsin is predictably Democratic. It's actually not. Every time the Democrats have won, except four years ago, it was by so much. It was this close. As for the heavy Republican representation, Lee believes it, too, may not accurately represent just how purple the state is. Because we had Republican government in Madison in 11, they got to draw the lines. And so, for example, congressional districts were drawn to tilt more Republican and to have fewer safe Democratic seats. Regardless of how blue, red, purple, or any other color Wisconsin may be, the man in charge of the Badger State is happy to put election season in the rearview mirror. My hope is, now that those elections are done, things can calm down overall in the state of Wisconsin. We just get back to work. One sign of just how narrow the federal seats can fall came only two years ago. That's when three-term Democratic U.S. Senator Russ Feingold was ousted during a nationwide Republican surge. Of course, before Feingold, that same seat was held by a Republican for 12 years, and then a Democrat before him, and I could go on for a while with this one. But I'll stop there and, and give it back to you. <laughs> we do get the point. Very interesting dynamic last night. Thanks, Chip, for that. It was a